In this video, we're going to look at the real-world range for the Audi Q4 e-tron. So in a normal week, I'm getting about 3.1 miles per kilowatt hour at the moment in winter time. So about 230 miles of range, roughly. But today, I'm going to do a road trip from Pennycook, south of Edinburgh, up to Findhorn, which is near Inverness, and back in one day. So the temperature's 3 degrees and we're doing about 360 miles today. So we're underway. We're going to slight detour to pick something up on the way up. But the plan is today to do up to Findhorn, which is near Inverness, and back after a few hours stop in Findhorn. I've used a better route planner to calculate the route ahead. Well, using the car sat nav to actually do the destinations um, so that it knows where I'm going to be charging and hopefully it'll preheat the battery to give it a bit of speed. So we're a little bit into the journey just now. Typical Scottish weather. Been in a bit, slightly misty, not ideal. This is crossing, the Queen's Ferry crossing. If it wasn't quite so misty, you could probably get a half decent view of the fourth bridges, but yeah, weather's well, not great for that. Current consumption sitting at 2.9 miles per kilowatt hour at the moment. Five degrees centigrade. Headlights have been on the entire time. I have popped it into efficiency mode because I'm just cruising on the motorway at the moment. And I have got the heater on just at 18 to keep me comfortable. Uh, I have turned the heat off in the other two climate zones. check in when we get to Perth. We're going to stop at the Ionity charger in Perth, which is the last of the kind of ultra rapid chargers on the way up to Finhorn. I just got a little top to up drive there. To the right. Excuse me. Let's do a little top up at Perth. Uh, we'll do a little top up at a 50 kilowatt charger up in Forest, which is near Finhorn, and then we'll do a, another little top up at Ionity on the way back, probably. If I get enough charge in Findhorn, we might, uh, sorry, Forest, we might be able to come back in one go. But this is the first time I've ever done a decent length journey in an EV. So, uh, I just Please make drive sure. to the right after three quarters of a mile and continue to follow the M90. So we've arrived in Perth. We are on 72% battery and we've done 2.8 miles kilowatt hour averaging 52 miles per hour we use slightly more than the guess on a better route planner but only because i did a five minute detour into edinburgh and then a few kind of city miles so that's probably affected the consumption a little bit so we're at the ionity charger connected up to the vehicle first time trying my audi e-tron card so Fingers crossed. That's a good sign. I'm not expecting it to charge particularly quickly here because it's at the top end of the battery. And I'm gonna stop for maybe 23, 24 minutes. A better route planner suggested 19, but I did use an extra 3%. So I'll give it a little while, I'll come back, check on the status. So we're still on the path. 
been for refreshments and it's given it about 20 minutes to charge up a bit. We're currently 86%. A bit of route planner I want this to be on 97, but there's plenty spare capacity. We're only drawing 35 kilowatts at the moment. Um, so there's no point in being on an ultra rapid charger to get up another 10%. So I'm just gonna head off and go up to Forest, which is near Findhorn. Um, instead of doing a short charge on the way back, because I'm gonna leave here a bit earlier, I'll pop to Orchard Road and hopefully go on a 50 kilowatt charger up there and just put it slightly longer on that charger. Another quick update, we're stuck at some temporary traffic lights and currently on this part of the journey we're averaging 2.4 miles per kilowatt hour. Overall it's dropped slightly to hit 2.7. Temperature's down a bit as well. It's been between 0 and 1 degrees for the last kind of 10-15 minutes. Another quick update, we are not too far away from Aviemore. Where are we? So we're probably about eight or nine miles south of Aviemore on the A9. Temperature is now down to minus one. On this leg, we're now up at 2.6 miles per kilowatt hour. And it's looking pretty picturesque out there. The bits that you can see in between the fog and clouds. timing it says rest recommended I'm kind of going to ignore that because I've only been on the road for an hour and 17 minutes since my last stop and we'll be stopping in forest in a little while to get another charge anyway so we'll just keep going bash on So we're now on the B9007. It's a single track road with passing places. And there's been banks of fog here and there, so it's above the road. There should be a fantastic view from up here, but mostly what we're getting is fog and cloud. We've arrived in forest now and long term memory saying we've done 174 miles at 2.8. Let's put that back on there for a second. And short term memory for the last stint. Come on, message goes away. There we go. Uh, 113 miles since Perth at 2.8. Just got a, a little short charge here uh, just so that when I leave. Findhorn later, I've got a bit more range left. Currently on 31% charge and 79 miles of range remaining.
Okay, so we've charged it up to 63%. Hoping that's gonna be enough to get me in at Finhorn and back down to Ionite in Perth later on. Fingers crossed. So it's 6.35, I'm just gonna start the return leg back down. Currently got 63%, so I'll stop back down at Ionity in Perth. So uh, let's search for that. Let's go back to Ionity. 121 miles. The route is being calculated. Now turn right. So it's expecting me to be below 6%. Um, I'll keep an eye on that. If it looks like it's going to be that bad, then I will come up with an alternative plan. So for the first leg on the way up here, or well, for the first legs on the way up here, 180 miles at 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour. I'll just reset short term memory. And that's us away. So, another quick update. Switch the screen off because the glare was quite bad on the back roads. Um, we are just about at Abbey Moor, just passing Abbey Moor on the A9 now. We've got 91 miles of range and it's 80 miles to the destination, so we've got 11 spare miles. So if it stays like that, I'll just keep going. If it drops much more, then I'll do a quick stop at Pit Lockery or somewhere, just to top up a little bit on a 50 kilowatt charger. So we made it back to Perth, back to the Ionity chargers, at the Triangle. We've got 17 miles of range left and 7% battery. At one point, going up Dromoth or Summit, towards Dromoth or Summit, um, it did look like we had five miles less range than we needed. Um, so I was a bit concerned briefly, but then on the way back down, we picked miles back up. So. Could get away with doing a short charge here, but I'm interested to see how long it takes to get to 80% from 7%. So I think I'll just charge it to 80 from here and see how we go. So that's just an 80% charge. I have been sitting with the heating on for the entire time, which might have affected the results slightly. We'll just double check how long we've been here. Still pulling 64 kilowatts. Been here 41 minutes to get to 80% from 7%. So we'll stop this now.
journey done. Back home, we left Perth with 80%, got back down here with 50% battery left, 109 miles left on the range. And that bit was pretty much all motorway, so 2.5 miles per kilowatt hour. Temperature was four degrees when we left Perth. It dropped to minus one, a couple of points on the way down, but it's back up to two degrees here. So not as cold as it was up north, we got down to minus two, but not particularly warm. I had to have the heating cranked up a bit more for that last segment. So all in, it's been a pretty good day. Cars performed really well, really, really comfortable. So overall then, we've managed 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour today at 45 miles per hour. It's almost eight hours, although part of that time we've been sitting with the ignition on rather than actual driving, sort of sat nav, etc. And we covered 359.6 miles.